Okay, so chances are you've seen it on the sidelines, in the stands, social media. We are talking about the hypnotoad. So it's said the creature can hypnotize with its eyes. It's become synonymous with our fabulous TCU horned frogs. Olivia Leach is live with us tonight, and you've got a closer look at the totally unique obsession. See what I did there? See what you did there? <laughs> I did, Nicole. Yeah, like the weather, Horn Frog Nation is heating up ahead of Saturday's big Fiesta Bowl in Arizona. As TCU prepares to take on Michigan in the college football playoff, we wanted to take a deeper look at the viral sensation that's got the crowds going at TCU games all season long, the hypnotode. So what exactly is the hypnotode? We tracked down the creator of the hypnotode, Eric Kaplan. He's a writer for hit shows like The Big Bang Theory and the co-executive producer of Young Sheldon here on CBS. Eric gave us some background on the hypnotode and his thoughts on seeing it become an adopted mascot for TCU. So hypnotode is a character that appeared in the science fiction cartoon Futurama. And hypnotode is a toad that has the power to make you believe whatever it wants you to believe uh, by means of hypnosis. And when I heard that uh, the people who liked the, the horny frog were switching to the hypno toad, I was over the moon, as I said, I was very happy. I was over the moon, I was over uh, Jupiter. So, Nicole, TCU tells me they do love the hypnotode, but they're not allowed to use it on merchandise. Eric explains that's because Disney owns the rights to Futurama, which therefore means Disney also owns the rights to hypnotode. <laughs> Live at TCU, Olivia Leach, CBS 11 News. We got to get the lawyers to work something out on that. <laughs> Olivia, thank you.